Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Memphis, located near Memphis, Tennessee, on the Mississippi River on June 6, 1862. For seven weeks following the battle on Island No. 10, Union naval ships had continually attacked Fort Pillow, located about 40 miles north of Memphis. On June 4th, the Confederate garrison at Fort Pillow unexpectedly retreated with the defeat of the Confederate Army at Corinth. Once the fort fell, the Union fleet had no resistance and immediately moved for Memphis. The Union fleet soon found the only defense of Memphis lay in the eight rams of the Confederate River Defense Fleet. The Union fleet also consisted of at least eight rams, with five additional ironclads commanded by U.S. Naval Flag Officer Charles H. Davis. Both fleets arrived off Memphis at 5.30 a.m. and engaged in fierce fighting. By 7 a.m., three Confederate ships had been rammed and sunk, while a single Union ship had been severely damaged. It was at this time that the Union ironclads destroyed all but one of the Confederate ships, leaving just a Confederate ship, the General Van Dorn, which retreated from the field. The city of Memphis surrendered to the Union shortly thereafter and was occupied by U.S. Colonel G.N. Fitch's Indiana Brigade. Estimated casualties were one Union sailor when a ship was rammed, while 180 Confederate sailors were killed, wounded, or captured. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.